in this presentation, I'm going to show a little bit about post-quantum robust cryptography and also to see how we can implement some of the methods in a simple way with Python. So the main focus will be on learning with errors and also with ring learning with errors. So let's initially look at learning with errors. So quantum computers will be able to crack most of our public key methods, especially RSA, elliptic curve and L gamma. They'll thus be able to uh, crack key exchange methods which use uh, public key encryption and also when we sign for identity. So some of the methods that are proposed are lattice-based cryptography, code-based, multivariant polynomial cryptography and hash-based signatures. In this uh, presentation we'll look at a technique which is associated with lattice-based cryptography and that's learning with errors. So with learning with errors we have a matrix, a random matrix A. We then have a secret value S, a secret matrix, and then we add some errors into it with an error matrix E. What I'm going to do is I'm going to base some of the, the, the graphics and the presentation on this excellent presentation here from a summer school which was held in Croatia. So if you're interested in the paper, uh, link should be included. But it gives you an, an overview of, uh, of some of the post-quantum cryptography. In places it gets a little bit heavy where it's trying to do formal proofs, but uh, the core of it uh, I'll, I'll try and, and outline within this presentation. Uh, so if I just show the presentation. Again. So the problem with uh, the, the difficult problem that we have with learning with errors is that we can have a, a random uh, matrix of values and then we can multiply it by a secret to find an output. So in this case we have a 2D matrix. This means integers, the Z here, and it's 7 by 4. Okay, so 7 rows and 4 columns. And 13 is the modulus that we use. So we have a prime number and all our operations are mod of that prime number. So in this case you won't find any values greater than 12 because it's mod 13. So the challenge that we have in learning with errors is that if we have this uh, matrix and we multiply it by secret, so this is that times that plus that times that plus that times that plus that times that is equal to that. Next row that times that, that times that, that times that, and that times that gives us this one. So is it possible for us to be able to find out what the four values are here? Unfortunately, unfortunately we can, and we use Gaussian elimination to be able to take one matrix and another, and we can take this matrix and divide by this matrix to get the secret value back again. Okay, so that's a relatively easy problem. In post-quantum cryptography, we will have a difficult problem. And the problem that's, that we have is that we now add some noise. So in this case, uh, we have our matrix. So our result here, we multiply and then we add. Okay, so in this case, it's six, four times six, plus one times nine, plus 11 times 11, plus 10 times 11, and then we'd add 0 to give us this value here. So it's all done mod 13. Okay, so the, 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 the problem that we have now is made a lot more difficult by adding this small amount of noise. It's actually quite difficult 
susceptible to find out what the secret was and also what the noise is. So let's see how we can implement this in Python. So the example that was given is this one. So we build up our matrix, our two-dimensional matrix, such as this, and we'll make q equals 13. Next, what we'll do is we'll multiply by our secret value. Our secret value is 6, 9, 11, and 11. And we'll take our error values, in this case, the, the square brackets here mean that it's a column. It's only one dimensional there. Then we take our error values, which are defined here. And then we can do our calculation. So the result of the calculation is equal to uh, A times SA. And then we add on SEA. We get that as an output. So these are the values that are given in the presentation. So we'll just try these out. Okay, so this is the, the Python program here. So I've defined our values. Here. Okay, so this is the little program here. So if we run this program, we should hopefully get the same output as we saw. In the example, Okay, and we do it. So I'll just put a new line there. Put in a couple of print statements. Okay, so our output is 4, 8, 1, 10, 4, 12, 9. Four. Sorry, our output is here. 4, 7, 2, 11, 5, 12, 8. That is there. Okay, so that's how uh, we work out this multiplication and then this addition uh, to give us our, our output. And there it is there. So with Lenin and with encryption, what we do is we take all our A samples together and that becomes uh, one part of our, uh, becomes our, pub, our encrypt, part of our encryption key. And then we take uh, the B value samples, that's what we just calculated there. And then we take a single bit and we multiply by uh, Q our prime number divided by 2. And we take that away from our value there. So the A samples are the A values that, that we had, and the B values is the result of the B output. The encrypted value is then U and V. To decrypt, we take the V value, we take away S, which is our uh, secret matrix times u, we take mod q, and if the value that we get is less than q upon 2, the message is 0. If it's greater than q upon 2, the message is 1. So we'll just have a look at how that works. OK, 
Okay, so this is the value of 1, there's a secret value, and an error value. You can see here that it works. In this case, here is the, the, the public key, the A values, and there is the B key. So it's also part of the the public key, but we don't really release the S and the E values. There's the errors and the secret key in this case, and we should be able to try lots of examples. And the message bit should be correct. Okay, so that's uh, learning with errors. So ring learning with errors is slightly is, is different in its approach. And this time, this time we deal with uh, polynomials. So a polynomial is something like this, where we have four plus x plus eleven x squared plus ten x cubed. And then what we do is that we this becomes a random. So in Python we can create our polynomial such as this was 4, 1, 11, and 10. We then multiply that by a secret polynomial. And then we take a small amount of noise polynomial, and then we add that to get our result. The thing that we also do is that we create a ring by taking the highest power of our polynomial, 3, add on 1, and we divide each of the rounds by x to the power of 4 plus 1. Okay, so we create our b, which is our public key again. And we take our a value, which is this one. So in Python, we represent 4 plus 1 plus 11 plus 10 as this 4 plus x plus 11x squared plus 10x cubed. Then we can take our secret, 6, 9, 11, 11, and our noise, 0, minus 1, 1, and 1. n is equal to 4, which will create our ring. And we can represent that in Python by 1, and then uh, 3 zeros, and then a 1. So this becomes 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so now what we do is that we divide the a value by our ring value, x to the 4 plus 1. Then we do a polynomial divide. Then we multiply the a value that we've got by this secret value, polynomial. And again, we take the mod q of that. So all our values will be less than 13. There's our Q value. Now what we'll do is we'll divide again by our ring value, and then we'll add on the not the error or the noise, and we'll get our result. Okay, so let's try that with some code. Okay, so this is the second part of my code here. So there's the A secret in EA, and this is the code that we've just created. So the result in the presentation is 10 plus 5, 10 plus 5x plus 10x squared plus 7x cubed. So let's see if we can get the same. So when we run it, we get 10, 5, 10, and 7. So that's uh, correct. Okay, so that's that's the output that we get. So uh, in this case, we create the B value, which becomes part of our public key, along with this random value here. So how is this actually used? Well, we can use it in key exchange. So here we go, here's an example. And we just go through the same steps as we did before. 
Uh, again, we're using our ring value uh, with the value of n. We have a polynomial multiply, that's a times the secret value, polynomial. And then we divide, then we add on the error. Bob does the same on his side. And Bob sends over the b value. Alice sends over her a, a b value here to Bob. And then Alice will take Bob's b value, multiply it by our secret value, and then uh, do the ring function again. And Bob will take Alice's b value, multiply it by his secret value. And then they should both end up with the same value. So if you have a look at this, Here we are here. This is our example here. So we can see there's the A value that have been created. Alice's secret polynomial. Alice's error. And then we end up with the B value. The B value gets sent over to Bob. Bob generates his own secret, his own error, and his own B value and sends it over. And in the end, hopefully, Bob and Alice will have the same shared key. So I've made it quite short, but obviously it would be much longer in, uh, in this case. So here's the, here's the code here that we can run. Uh, we can see here we're using 1024 bits here. So this value becomes uh, quite large. Okay, so in this way, um, we can actually use our learning with ring learning with errors to create a shared value. Okay, so that's been a brief introduction to how we would use uh, Python with learning with errors and ring learning with errors.